Hey everyone, this is JP with Oakley Trucking. Want to do make you all a quick video on some kind of reoccurring issues we've seen um, on when using the new uh, hours of service system, uh, GeoTab and Transflow kind of integrated together, and that is uh, adding and detaching your shipments. So you know, anytime that you get loaded, you are required to enter your information into your law book for DOT, and the three requirements are going to be the shipper name the commodity, and the bill of lading number. And so I wanted to show you all how to add that and how to manage that uh, shipment, as we call it. So what you will do is when you get loaded, you will come to your dashboard, uh, which is this screen right here. It's always a little house button in the bottom left, whether you're on a, a tablet or a phone. And what you'll do is when you're on this screen, you'll have your, your little assets tab down here, as we call it, which is would actually say where mine says training one and trailer 100 would have your truck and your trailer number. From there, you would so just select that tab. And you can see down here at the bottom, and you may have to scroll if you're on a phone, but you'll see this shipments label here. And you can already see on my screen here that I've got an empty move already added in. But what we would do is, once we got loaded, we would take our empty move off by clicking the little black X. And now we're gonna add that shipment information in there. So I'm gonna hit this little plus sign now we've got our shipper name here, so we're gonna fill in our shipper name. For example purposes, we'll just say 3M. Our commodity, uh, we'll just say that we're just, we'll just put granules in here. And it can be more specific, you can put you know, 7,000, or if you're on headlap, put headlap, but we're just you know, going through this. And then shipment document number would obviously be the bill of lading number. So you type in your bill of lading number, and obviously I'm just making one up, then you'd hit add. You can see now it's at the top of our screen. So we just hit continue and boom, that is now on our log book for DOT in case they pull us over and ask to see this information, it will be in there and you are compliant. You can get written a violation uh, from DOT for not having anything in that uh, box. So it's very important that you manage that. Now, if you were to get empty, all you would do is come back to this tab, which is again in, on the dashboard, with the little house button in the bottom left. Come back to what we call your assets tab, which has your truck and your trailer number, and select that. And then now that you've emptied out from, with that load, you simply click the black X out beside it. So now there says no shipments attached. And at this point, you're going to want to have something in there. So go ahead and add an empty move. And to do that, just hit the little blue plus sign out here beside shipments. And shipper name, we're going to say empty. Our commodity is empty and our shipment document number is empty. You can hit add, continue at the top, and boom, your empty move is now in there. So you should never have one more than one field or shipment, I should say, um, in the shipments tab here. You just have one at a time. So I uh, hope that helps. If you have any questions, be sure to call safety. Um, appreciate everything that you guys do and uh, safe driving.